Well, hello, 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 my Mad Scrappers. I am back with a Fun Fold Friday. Shocking. It's not a mail call or anything like that. I'm actually doing something with something I have. <laughs> I know. Surprise, surprise. Hey, no, listen, I'm coming back with this um, kit or the magazine only because I really like it and because it actually had a Fun Fold in it that I really liked. I'm like, hey, two, with, two birds with one stone. We come back and revisit the kit because I really like it. And... I get to make a fun fold. So we're still back here with Loving Swans and the Papercraft Essentials, which goes to show, hey, a magazine where you can do more than one. And there is more than one card I'm going to make out of this. But this is going to be my second one. But this is the card we're going to revisit. And it's a simple double Z fold. I mean, many of you have done them and many of you have never even seen. I go, Meyer, what's a Z fold? We're about to find out because it's not like I'm the expert on fun folds. I leave that to up stamping up people. But I wanted to make this card, more or less. I'm not making it exactly as is depicted, only because they make this as an eight by eight card. That's my, so they use up the whole sheet of paper. That's crazy. I don't even have paper big enough to make an envelope for that. So no, we are adapting this pattern to a A7, to a five by seven. So I've already got my pieces all picked out. These are the strips that came in the kit. We've got, um, I'm using, this is matting paper, this is scraps that I have. And then we have our pieces here. And whoops, and that one's already popped out. How nice of it. And then here's our paper, and this is what I'm using for the card base. So give me a moment. I'm going to come back with the papers already cut down, and I'll have measurements for you. Okay, you guys? So give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right, kiddos, I am back. I have done a bunch of snippity snapping and cutting up of pieces. I've got my card base here, which was for an A7 card, which is 5 by 7 I uh, five by seven, which is well, it is five by seven, but actually it's cut to five, uh, seven by ten because we got to score this puppy in half. Let's grab my little score, my little scoring tool, and we'll do that real quick because that's easy. Scoring is not difficult. Okay, so I got that score. Now this is the belly band for the. I actually no, wait a minute before I start that, I forget. I got two scores to do, so. I scored my middle, but remember that this is a Z fold, so I have to put another score at the halfway mark of my panel, which is two and a half. But before I do that, since it's going to be a, a, like a zigzag fold, I'm flipping my paper over, okay? Because we fold into the valley. Remember that, okay? And I think I've got that right. I thought we're about to find out, and I'll be scoring again. But so we're going to do a score at the two and a half mark, okay? So now we got to our two scores for our card. Now we do the belly band little piece, and it's the same principle, okay? So we're gonna cut. We're gonna score at the five at the five inch mark, and then flip it over, and two and a half, because it is a Z fold, okay? Whoops! Make sure that score is straight. Yep. Yep. Okay. So now we can put away my caterpillar, my caterpillar crease, and set that aside. Okay. So now let me move all of these pieces and we'll come back and revisit all of these pieces in a moment. Let's go ahead and fold up our card. So all I gotta do is fold that in half because I did a bang up job scoring it right. <laughs> we'll see. I always have to remember these, I rarely, these papers come up squared out. Yeah, see, even though I've got a little time. It's a little smidge off here at the bottom. I see it. I can see it. And then we're a bit off on the inside. I've kind of like given up trying to square off this paper. I'm so now I have my card squared off. And now we have our little band here that we have to make sure it is nice. And I also have issues with it here, of course. Let me take my two little pieces of paper here out of the way and we will go ahead and all I want to make sure is that at the very least these guys are lined up. There we go. And now, of course, hello, we have got to fold this over and make sure it is nice and straight. And then we'll just burnish that down with the on bold folder. And we'll go in both directions. So we might want at that nice, nice crease. And I'll do the same here. Open it up and also burnish from the back. 
and we have a nice even see now it's nice and even and it's not making me crazy because I can do that all by myself and see we've got our little band here and it's just fine it's perfect all right so now we are ready to adhere our paper panels down so again this is my Z fold five and by seven my panel is two and a half so now we have all of our papers that we're going to be matting this with. I think I'm going to go easy and we're going to start with these pieces. So we have a five by seven base. So this lower layer is cut four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then the inner inner layer is cut six and a half by four and a half so that it makes a really pretty gives it a really nice border. And this is not terribly expensive paper. This is recollections paper and it's not terribly thick. So I'm not going to go make myself crazy cutting up, die cutting out words and whatnot. Although, wait, let me see. I have an idea. Hold on. Okay, so I really wanted to be good because there's a part of me just twitches at the mere thought of covering this all and not having cut out something. But you know what? It's not worth the effort tonight. <laughs> I'm just like, you know what, guys? This is recollection paper. I got to keep that in mind. So today I am cheating. I'm being bad. Don't turn me in. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly mat this card up. Let's put this together because a Z fold is a very fancy looking card. And I was like, oh, how did you do that? And you'll say, oh, you know, it takes a lot of effort to put it together. And you and I and everybody else is watching us are the only ones that are going to know the truth that a Z fold is not that difficult. It's not that hard, but boy, does it have impact. So let me just center that in very quickly. And I have all these little, these little ruler tools, and do you think I use them? No, i rather struggle doing it, eyeballing it, because there you go. That's how I roll, for the same reason that I always forget to use my stamp button when I'm embossing, because, you know, I bet I should do things that make my cards better. Oh, I am what I am, what can I say? But we're just going to go ahead and roll on through this and put this really pretty card together, because it, it is... It really is a simple card, but it's a beautiful, simple card. So, and I'm going to call that good. Now we have that. And now we have to do this little panel. Okay. In fact, you guys get the gist. I'm going to go ahead and I have to put these two down on this side and then I'm going to take all my little pieces, but oh wait, let me tell you, cause I did promise to tell you the measurements. So on the left panel, this panel right here is two and a half, obviously by the seven. So this piece here, it's six, again, the six and three quarters, but two and a quarter. And then the piece inside will then be six and a half by two. And then our little guys here are all going to be, I'm going to um, adhere them to my little, my, um, my Z fold. And you guys got to make sense. Got to make sure which way you're running. So the long side basically on a z fold goes on the short on the short and then the short on the long okay so that that way this card will fold and and close flat all right so make sure you know that because this is at some point when this paper it's not so critical because the, they're just floral so i can go either way and then not but if you're using a directional paper you got to make sure about that all right so this belly band is an inch and a half of course, cut to 10. Okay, scored just like the card at five inches and seven and a half inches. Our piece, so this piece here, because this is the five inch, is, excuse me, four and three quarters by one and a quarter. And then our mat, our piece of paper that mats that one is going to be, what did I say this was? So one and a half, one and a quarter, one inch, hello, one inch by four. Okay, you got all these pieces, and I still have to cut these down. I miss, I miss doing that because that will go mat, uh, matted on this, okay? Although, I may have just wasted paper use, uselessly because I could have just done this. I forgot that this, you know what? I wasted paper, and I feel bad about this, so I'm going to have to make a second card with that. But I'm mounting that straight onto this. Okay, so see? You guys know somewhere along the ways, I'm going to make a mistake. But we will fix that. Trust me, that those pieces of paper will be used because I'll just make a second Z fold card. So we've got this ready. So give me a second. Let me come back and I'll put all these papers down. All right. All right. I am back. I have already 
um, put all my paper on the front or the left panel and on this panel. This panel I'm leaving blank and this would be where your sentiment or what you want to write would go. Now, here's the thought. If you're making this car specifically for someone, I, on a special occasion already, you know it's going to be a wedding or a birthday or whatever, um, you might want to write your sentiment first before you assemble it because it becomes a little bit difficult to write it in, I mean, when you're here. Just a thought, okay? But I've gone, also gone ahead and grabbed my ephemera pieces and I've already, whoops, oh no, I did, yes, I did. On this one, I didn't, I put it on the belly band, but I've already applied my foam tape on it. So we're gonna start putting this card together and it's a quick assembly. So all I'm gonna do now is take all my little tapes off. So I'm gonna rip these off with my little, little pointy uh, tweezers, thingamajigger thingy, whatever they are. <laughs> and here's the reason, again, we run into this again as I ran into it in the last card I made, is that these ephemera pieces are meant to be put on a huge card and we're not making a huge card. So it swallows up a lot of the paper. So I might be doing my own thing with future cards with this paper just because it's like, oh my gosh, I, I chew up so much of the paper. This paper is so beautiful. But we are sticking to our guns on this one right now. Next is the belly band. I'm going to go, normally, I would probably uh, say we would use wet glue. But I want to give myself the out depending on want uh, being able to to write my sentiments so i'm going to go ahead and use big mama so i'm just going to use big mama tape so i am going to go ahead knowing that this is half i'm just going to put tape and just put several oops there we go just several little rows of it there we go why are you being difficult there we go and then because i am terribly uncoordinated there we go and i'm going to do the same to this end right here so just a little bit in from the end my goodness you bet oh I know why it's acting up I ran out of tape of course be right back and we're loaded up with it so let me now take all that little piece that fell off the edge we'll stick it right there and now there we go now it's behaving like it normally does I was not paying attention <laughs> There you go. I spent so much money. There you go. I'm too broke to pay attention. For pay attention. <laughs> so we're going to now lay this down first on this side. And let me, there's a little bit sticking off there off the edge. And I'm going to go with leaving it about a half an inch up off the bottom edge. Because that still leaves us plenty of space for our swan friend here. So there we go. So press that down there. And then I'm just going to come back. And just lay this down, just make sure it's straight, right here against this edge. And just press that down, and there we go. Now, the last piece, of, well, the last two pieces of this puzzle is one, our swan friend here. We're done with my Big Mama. So I'm just going to remove the, paper, the release from here. And we're going to grab our little beautiful swan friend and make sure it is straight Oh, and over here because we have to cover all of our foam. And there we go, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it makes itself. And then this little piece will go right here. And I probably could have gotten away with not putting it there, but I made the unilateral decision of including it anyway. So, all right, come here, my friend. Now, I know that in the sample it is done that way, I'm choosing it to put it this way because it's my card. There you go. And guys, there you go. Here is our beautiful Z Fold card. It's It really is really, really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, of course, and it stands beautifully. I have a better view of it than you do. But if I hold it, that's how you, what you're going to see. But it's a beautiful card, and it's really in the paper and the ephemera. It ain't me, people. It, I just got beautiful materials, a simple card that looks very bang, you know, just very stands out. So I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, guys, I hope that you, you know, those of you that didn't know how to make a Z Fold card, now you do. I'm going to include the, uh, all the measurements in the description. 
Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. If you enjoy this, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up, drop me a note. Um, if you want to see more of my ongoing madness, hey, I only went wrong once on this tape, okay? So we're doing good. <laughs> then by all means, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell because I will be back with more of my shenanigans. Meanwhile, I'm going to let you go. Craft, make something beautiful. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening, depending on what time it is. And meanwhile, don't ever forget we're all a little mad here. So come on, let's craft the madness together, okay? I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye!